Uh, good morning. Uh, it's day three, and and I want to tell you about uh, how I accidentally uh, jump started. I was jump started might be the wrong word, but accidentally took my copywriting career to another level. Uh, and probably the most influential thing that I've done in terms of uh, getting clients and establishing myself as a uh, an authority or whatever you know some somebody to be taken seriously in in this industry uh, first I want to say you know I, I appreciate everyone who I connected with who connected with me on LinkedIn yesterday I hope you're doing it with each other as well uh, we can network in that way and you know have a you know a foundation of support for each other uh, and so we talked about LinkedIn yesterday talked about websites the day before that today we're going to talk about uh, well, I'll tell you the story um, in 2011 uh, it's probably been 2010 like around the end of the year I was a whopping three years into my career and I just I was convinced I needed to have some kind of product to sell uh, I wasn't making much money <laughs> But I wanted to have a product because I think I was convinced that's what you're supposed to do. Copywriters have products of their own. So anyway, I, I wrote a very terrible book. <laughs> um, it was a personal development book. It was weird. Anyway, the, the original version of it came out in 2011. Actually, I believe it was on my wife's birthday in 2011. Uh, and is that right? Maybe, whatever. It was designed to coincide with the release of the movie Limitless. If you remember that movie, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen the movie. Obviously, I hadn't seen it because it was coming out on the same day. Uh, but I didn't see the movie until like 2016. So it's kind of funny. I wrote a book uh, called Get Limitless, like how to get the results from, you know, the the movie kind of hack your way to that kind of uh, result, uh, but without the drugs. The second version of the book, I had a co-author add something about the drugs, which is a whole other crazy story. I could tell you another time. But anyway, as I'm writing this book, it was short, 30 pages maybe, and for an appendix, I, I stole a big section of uh, content from John Ford. Now, you may know John Ford, you may not, but those of you who have done AWAI stuff, you probably heard the name. He sends out a, a, a weekly email called the Copywriters Roundtable, and he says you can steal my stuff, you can borrow it, republish it, whatever, as long as you give me credit. So <clears throat> I took it and put it in a book because I wanted to fatten up my book, and um, and I thought what he said was pretty good. I don't even remember what it was now, but anyway. So when I did that. I sent him an email, sent John an email saying I, I swiped you at length. So I just thought I would, you know, share with you what I what I took from you and how I set it up, how I structured the book here. And just sent it to an email, not really thinking about anything other than I'm gonna, you know, show him uh, appreciation for doing it. Uh or for <laughs> allowing me to steal his content. Anyway, uh the a couple of days later, he sent me back an email saying, you know, he thought the book was great. Actually, I don't think it was that great. Uh, and could he use one of the chapters from the book as his newsletter for the next week? Oh, <laughs> well, yes, of course you may do that. He had his email list. Was, I don't know. It was over 10,000. I, I don't remember exactly how big it was. But uh, he sent it out as something for his audience to, you know, to, you know, he's not always talking about copywriting. He talks about uh, personal development and productivity and stuff like that. That's usually about copywriting and marketing, though. Anyway, so he sent, I've been saying anyway a lot this morning. Sorry about that. Uh, he sent it out. And then a couple of weeks later, he I th it might have been there next week. He said, can I use another chapter? I want to use a second chapter or what have you as for my newsletter again. And he put a link back to my site so people could buy it. A few people bought it, uh, bought bought my book, uh, and uh, and that <laughs> began something entirely 
fresh in my career uh, because now I'm 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 in front of like ten thousand people, a lot of whom are actually the kind of people who would want to hire me, and actually I got I got work from early to rise from one of those two emails, and uh, and that started like a kind of a chain reaction, so. It was an accident because I didn't expect, I wasn't sending John the book to get him to promote me or to get him to let me speak to his audience. I just wanted to share with him. He, on, uh, for his benefit, said, I can take the week off. I don't have to write anything this week. I can just use this. It's good material. My audience will like it. And they'll, everyone will benefit. And, and I, you know, I said that to him, thank you for you know for putting me out there like that and he just said he told me you know you're doing me a favor so i mean that the lesson right there it may not be the same for everyone but there are a lot of content producers a lot who cannot come up with enough content and so if you send them content you're doing them a favor you're not pestering them you're not bothering them you're giving them an opportunity to take the day off take the week off or to fill their site or their newsletter up with more content. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's a huge lesson. So for, anyway, for me, it turned into, after that, I wrote, he said, when, I don't know if he said it or if I just took it, took it to mean this. Whenever I had something I wanted to share, I just sent it to him. I said, hey, you might want to send this to your list. And he always did. He might have, there's maybe one that he didn't send. Um, and it turned into 22 or 24, I can't remember. 24 uh, guest articles or guest posts or whatever you want to call it, guest opportunities to speak to his list, over, which is, I think it's over 15,000 over time. Uh, I was in front of them 20 plus times and almost every time got actual client work from it. Um, and, and, and not only that, uh, but... There are good clients, obviously people who understand direct response. A lot of them are from the financial industry and or, or uh, related sort of industries. And and I got to be associated with a, a high caliber copywriter. Uh, you know, and I told, I've used actually used that. I've written for John Ford or people said people that I heard you wrote for John Ford. I think they a lot of them think I wrote copy for him, which I never have done. But they they kind of conflate the two and give me the authority that would come along with that. Uh, and and not only that, at, I can't remember when it was, but I asked when I was uh, when I was concerned with SEO, like we were kind of talking about the other day, and I thought a backlink from his site would be helpful to me. And so I just asked, would, uh, you know, would you mind doing me a favor? You know, I'm a regular contributor to the, to the newsletter. Would you mind putting a link on your site back to my site? And he did. So on his site, I mean, this was years ago. Just like Bob Bly and uh, <laughs> I can't even remember who else. There's like five or six people and I'm one of them. So not to say that I'm this in the top five or, or ten most worthy people but i asked and and he was willing to do it uh and so that's been a benefit to me as well anyway so what i'm saying is i accidentally put myself in front of tens <laughs> over ten thousand people who who may be good clients for me and and establish myself as an authority because i'm on a big platform of a trusted guy and you, and that got me clients regularly almost every time and i could pretty much do it on demand because john would take a day off whenever <laughs> he could take whenever he could get one uh so the lesson for you it, it extrapolates this is just one illustration this is 2011 and since then i i found out you know it makes a lot of sense having your own domain is very important it makes a lot of sense to get your face get your voice get your content on sites where other people already are and where there's trust already been developed that you can kind of borrow platforms you can stand on. When I, I used to call it OPP, other people's platforms. And you would go 
uh, just look for opportunities to get yourself on other people's platforms to add exposure to yourself. Now, that can be a driver of traffic back to your site, and it probably will be a driver of people to your LinkedIn profile, a driver of people to your Facebook page. I guess that happens a lot. Uh, and a driver of people to make phone calls to you if they, if they have access to your phone number. Uh, so that's one thing I want to say. You should, regardless of the fact that, I mean, some of the people in this group are very experienced. You've been in the game for a decade or longer. Uh, some are brand new, months into the game. Uh, but we all have something that we can say. We can talk about what we're learning, what we've, what we know so far. Because uh, believe it or not, if you just know the basics, you probably know this. You already know more than 75% of, <laughs> of people online looking for stuff. You know something that they don't know. You know some way of getting them better results on opening emails or clicking through the email or getting a landing page uh, opt-in rate up. You know something about writing or, or whatever your specialty is. You know something that they don't know. And so you should look for opportunities to share that information with uh, as many people as you can. And unless you're getting hundreds of people to your site every day, I still don't. <laughs> uh, I get the right people to my site, I think, but not a lot of them. Uh, but until you're at, at that point where there's traffic coming in, paid or unpaid, uh, you got to look for ways to get in front of people where they already are. And so guest writing or appearing on podcasts and uh, Facebook Lives with people and stuff like that has been huge, huge for me uh, and huge for other people that I know. And, and I think that it's something you should actively pursue. I did it accidentally to start, but you should you should purposefully look for places where you can contribute a guest article or blog post, uh, where you can be on a podcast, or you can get into a, a Facebook Live, you know, with the two people interview style thing uh, or you know if you can speak on somebody's stage in a, on a, on in a live event a real per, an in-person event uh, those sort of things are huge credibility boosters if you if you and you can say you know I've been you know in, appeared on such and such podcast I've written for Huffington Post or whatever you know things like that it's it's been huge for like I said it's been huge for me and because my website doesn't get tons of traffic, you know, it, like I said, it does get some. And the, and the ranks really well when you look up Donnie Bryant. If maybe if you, Also, if you look up Chicago copywriter or something like that, it does pretty well. There's not a ton of copywriters <laughs> in Chicago, or at least none that, not a lot that uh, claim it or have tried to position themselves that way. Uh, so I do okay for that. But most people are not looking for that. I haven't got a ton of clients <laughs> from Chicago, surprisingly, who come to me that way. But you can get where they, where your would be, should be clients are, if you go looking for those opportunities. So you got to figure out where, where those spots are for you, and and look for them. Second thing is have the mindset that I'm not begging for someone to give me a, you know, a handout or or something. You're providing valuable content. You're doing them a favor by giving them the week off or the day off. It's hard for content producers to come to find guests and to find contributors all the time. Believe me, I know. I, I'll tell you that story another time too. Uh, but it's hard work if you if you had to produce content on a constant basis. It's hard to find people. It's hard to create it yourself and unless you have a team. You know, it can be difficult. So you're doing them a favor by bringing them something that they don't. Uh, you know, fresh voice, fresh perspective, valuable content, and uh, and and saving them some time for having to produce one more article or one more interview. So you should definitely do that. We'll have to talk about specifics. So I can give you some specifics about, about me, but that may not be very helpful to you. Uh, so you got to look for those opportunities. And even if they're small ones, they add up over time. I've been, I've been on dozens of tiny podcasts and a bunch of them that don't even exist anymore. Um, entrepreneur by faith it's like he, he did four interviews <laughs> i think uh and then disappeared and i did another one he did like six or ten and it just became too much work and he stopped doing them but uh actually i can think of, of at least three that you can't even find these interviews online anymore 
but in doing them, you develop a relationship with the content producer, the podcast owner, who will probably do something else in the future. And uh, and it just it's a great way of separating yourself from the pack, uh, being on podcasts and, and writing guest articles. But as I said, don't shy away from small ones. But if you can, look for those big fish, ones with authority, ones with big audiences, and ones who you can brag about later. It's like if you can get on Oprah, you should do it. Uh, if you can get on, if you can write for uh, AWAI on the on the site there, you should probably do it. And you probably can. Uh, I've never tried. Uh, if you can speak at, even you know, if you speak at Small Business Association or like the uh, Small Business Development Center events, you can brag about that. And those sort of things kind of build. And the more you do them, uh, the more credibility you have, the more exposure you have. And the more things you can point to as expertise, and if you can get pictures of yourself doing these things, also, uh, it just makes you look you look more professional. So all three of the things we've been talking about, I've been talking about. I keep saying professional, but it's a little bit more than that. The psychology of being seen as trustworthy and being seen as an expert, being seen as the kind of person who doesn't need you know you're not needy but that but people have the privilege of working with you or the privilege of talking to you that's what you want to cultivate that's what you know it's hard in the beginning you feel like it's a privilege to talk to people who might give you money you feel like it's a privilege to get uh, the opportunity to work for these people and it is you should be thankful for that I, you know I, I'm all about gratitude uh, but you have to kind of cultivate also, the opposite, not opposite, but the complimentary uh, attitude that it's a privilege for you to work with me. You should be lucky and thankful to have the opportunity to work with me or to host my content on your site or to have me as a, a podcast guest. Um, so I get it. It's hard in the beginning. Believe me, I spent a lot of time, three, four years, constantly referring to somebody else. Um, but... You know, you'll, you get there. And part of it is is walking in this thing. You know, you develop confidence in your skills. And you develop, you understand, <laughs> like I said, people are dropping out like flies. You, you see them on left and right. People who you came up with or whatever, uh, they're not in the game anymore. They found it too hard. And so they, they just quit. Uh, so when you don't quit, you'll see, I, I'm, I really have something going here. And you're... you're Swagger will develop, and and you should do that. So that's what I'm saying. If if you're on, if you're a guest on shows or on blogs or websites or newsletters, that takes your swagger level higher. Internally, you say, you know, I'm I'm in a different league than these other people. Not to be braggadocious, but but you just are, because most people don't have the guts to do it. Most people don't have the chops to do it. And so you, you're one of them. And then people will treat you that way also. They'll start to. Uh, you won't be, you know, Oprah famous <laughs> unless you're on Oprah. Uh, but the more people will see you, like I said, they'll be, you'll be the only copywriter they know sometimes. I know a guy, actually the co-writer is funny. The co-writer of that terrible book that I mentioned in 2011, I talked with him in, in yeah, in December. Uh, and <laughs> he, said, he said, you're the only professional copywriter I know. So I've known him for seven years, and he hasn't met anybody but me. So you know, it'll happen. And anyway, so you, but you gotta invest in the, in these opportunities to get in front of people. One and secondly, like I said, to cultivate in yourself the cultivate for yourself, you know, an air of you know trustworthiness, authority, and and uh, abundance. Not, not monetary abundance, but like I don't need you. I'm not needy. I'm not desperate here. Uh, I'm established enough to be out here on these other people's sites and be speaking from a position of expertise. And that will create opportunities, <laughs> more opportunities for the money to flow to you a little bit more easily. Uh, so anyway, that's been huge for me. Uh, being on, uh, when I told this story, being a featured in John Ford's newsletter, uh, had the, gotten me, you know, 
I mean, at least a dozen clients, like I was mentioning. But also, like, getting in with Agora, that happened because of that. And getting early to rise, Agora, and Zach's Investment Research, who's been a big client for me. Um, those all happened because, cause either because I was on his, you know, writing for him, or because he made direct recommendations. As, as a matter of fact, now that I think about it, when I, I posted that little uh, uh, hot seat session, or that Clayton Make Pieces event with Paris Land Propolis, David Deutsch, and Clayton, John Ford recommended me for that. I wouldn't have been there except for John said, I guess I asked him, do you know who anybody who might want to speak here? And Clayton didn't send me an email and said, hey, Donnie, you should come. But he sent one to John, I guess, and John said, hey, you should talk to Donnie. He, he'll, he'd he be great. And then Clayton's, or somebody sent me an email, and I got to speak at Clayton's event, which, again, is another thing that takes you level higher. Uh, and, and, this, and this came from an accident, <laughs> something I couldn't have predicted. Uh, so you got to do that. Uh, I know it's hard with the time also to come up with, you know, writing content for yourself. And hopefully for clients and, and trying to keep up with life. And now i got to write for somebody else. But that's, again, when we're talking about return on investment of your time, uh, writing for your own site is is important. Uh, but it's not going to probably get the eyeballs if, that, that it, you would get if you went someplace where there's already built-in traffic, built-in trust and authority. Uh, so look for those opportunities. Now, I'm going to shut up because I've been rambling. Let's, let's talk about it. Tell me, you know, what you've done in this, you know, along this, these lines, opportunities that you'd like to pursue. Maybe I can help you. I might know somebody or I might have an end somehow or, or just have some thoughts about how you might approach it. And and I'd be happy to help you <laughs> as, in any way I can. And we can help each other. Uh, and and as you go as you go forward, like I said, let's let's keep talking about this uh, when it's appropriate for you to talk about it, how you want to talk about it. And uh, and use that as a tool or a tactic or a strategy, maybe, <laughs> uh, to boost your own client getting abilities. That's it for me. Uh, for now, I'm shutting up. Uh, Got to get some work done this morning. So uh, I will talk to you soon. Peace.